So here we have a vehicle, most unusual in these events, and it's actually from the Northern Ireland conflict. We're going to just have a little look at it. Yep, so what can you tell me about this vehicle then? Well, it's made in 1954. It's a Humber Pig. They're originally a Humber one-ton cargo truck. And so they started life in 1954, it was a one-ton cargo truck. And then they converted them in the mid-60s to armoured vehicles. And over the course of the lifespan, they added sort of five tonne of armour plate to them. But they never changed the brakes or upgraded the steering. So nowadays, they don't steer and they definitely don't like stopping. Right, so let me get this straight. This is one tonne, but it's, just, it's carrying five tonne of armour. Yeah. And that's incredible. Yeah. But they haven't upgraded. No, it. they never changed they the must brakes. Be well or designed in the first place. They, they were a good truck. They, they, I mean, I've seen one of these as a proper truck, and they were a lovely truck. And hmm. Same engineer, and obviously they're nice and quick and responsive. But you add five ton of armor plate to them, yeah, and it slows it down. Yeah, quite a it lot. will do. Yeah, and it it's not ideal. Around. Not ideal no. for this, no. the design of it. Yeah. So we we look inside. Yeah. You can see on the door there. That that was the original when it was a Mark One Humber Pig. Oh, I see. So they've doubled the skin. And then when when the IRA got bigger and better weapons that could go through that, they added another layer of armor plate oh, to it. Oh my goodness. And they would have had just a different type of visor on here, just a simple visor with, with a circle you open and close. And then they took them about and put these big ooh, yeah. armoured. So inside we've got a massive steering wheel because we've got no power steering. You see the hydraulic rams that pump up on, it, on a hand pump, oh. pump the visors up. Pump up a handle, it's like a jack and it, it opens that visor up oh, on the hydraulics. I see. And there's a little, little, little screw, you undo the screw. And it folds down, goes down under its own weight. I'll do that because I've got to close the visor down anyway. Oh, okay, yep. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Just look at the wipers on the bulletproof glass. It's like a laminate that they use in uh, sort of aeroplanes, I guess. As it became more psychologically harder, for the squad is to sort of knock them off. So what you're saying, they would jump up and scratch yeah, that, the glass? Yeah, they, they, they'll stand on this bit as it's going along slowly and, and, oh, and stab, it, stab it in with screwdrivers. Oh, okay. Now we're uh, Romford. Tell me about this lovely vehicle. Uh, 1956 Daimler Ferret Scout car. This is the Mark I um, Scout liaison vehicle. So this was basically designed to get in, scout the enemy was, get out again quickly without right. being seen. It's designed for lightness and speed. Yeah, basically. It could do 60 miles an hour, forwards or backwards. Wow. You've got smoke, just got six to smoke discharge on the front, so if you'd have been seen, you launch your smoke and yeah. get out quick. So the same, the same devices they're using with tanks now. Yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. To, to camouflage yeah, your movements. Yeah. So, um, where would this have been used? Um, I haven't found out the history of this one yet because when I went to find out the history, it was just as the pandemic was hitting and Bobbington oh. shut down and they, they wouldn't give me any information. So I haven't got around to it. But it has, but, but yeah, it, would, it, would, it, would, it could have been in Germany, um, Malaya, could have, yeah, could have gone to Aden, Cyprus. Um, so it was in, in service from. 66 through to I think I think they released from service in 87 I think it was released. 